Hi, kumusta? Welcome back to our channel. Kung saan sa channel nito ang nakapit na yasin ay napakisipis na tayo. Hi guys! Ako na naman. <laughs> so, nandito tayo sa ating third part of this three-part series. Sa ngayon, kapag nakapag-journalize ka na, and then, nakapag-post ka na doon sa mga individual ledgers or individual accounts. Kung at pagdating ng end of the period, okay, let's say month end or year end or quarter end, kailangan for purposes of reporting, kailangan mo ng mga balance. Pwede tayong magpa-generate ng trial balance para makita natin yung mga running balance, yung mga um, accounts na ginagamit natin sa company. And this is your trial balance. Ang trial balance will also check the equality of your total debits and your total credits. But again, um, kaya siya again kasi sa, sa ibang mga discussions, especially sa group, nabanggit ko na yung trial balance does not really tell you na tama yung mga amounts. It just tells you na tama yung total debits mo at total credits. Pero not necessarily accurate yung mga amounts na pinaglalagay mo. O kaya naman kasi, nakalimutan mo dahil wala kang mga debit and credit entry, balance pa rin yung trial balance. So again, trial balance is a test of the equality of your debits and credit. Okay, now, papaano ba natin ito ginagawa? Simple lang po ito, ano? O, balikan lang natin yung posting natin, yung mga T-accounts na ito na makikita ninyo sa screen pag naggagawa tayo ng trial balance o eto yung performa entry natin Pina, ina-identify natin lahat ng mga accounts na may open balance o pag, may, pag sinabi natin open balance, eto yung may mga laman may mga balance and makikita mo dito in the order of assets, liabilities, equity income and expenses now, merong ka ditong tatlong columns actually. The first column is for your accounts. The second column is para sa debit. The third column is para sa credit. Kasi depende kung saan magpo-fall yung balance ng mga amounts na yun. For this, because my business is Sherepnity. Okay? So, ito yung title ng aking uh, business. Now, upisan natin sa cash. Makikita mo, we have 80,000. Ano to? Debit, credit. Your 80 is debit. So, pagdating sa trial balance, ipopost natin siya doon sa gitna, under your debit column. Puntahan natin. Sumunod, you have your inventories. Asan siya? Left or right? Nasa left. Ano yung inventory? Asset, liability, or other accounts? Inventory is your asset. So, debit balance, plug natin siya doon. Okay? O. Oh. Office supplies, next. The same with your inventory. Asset account ito. 5,000. O, plot natin under the debit. So, you have your 5,000. Our next item, next account. You have your accounts payable. Yung accounts payable is what? O, dito sa ating illustration, ito yung nag-iisa mong liability. So, ilalagay natin under credit yung 5,000. Okay linat na natin. Nagkalaman na yung isang column. Now, next, we have your Serrano Capital. And this is 100,000. Lagay natin doon, 100,000. Since this is a normal credit balance, nilagay natin sa right side. Okay? O, how about your sales? Your sales is your service revenue. Kita mo, benta mo. Ang normal balance nito ay credit. Pagdating sa trial balance, andoon siya sa credit. Na side, 20,000. Now, for the next item, you have your salaries expense. Ang salaries expense mo ay debit because it is an expense. O, pag gumagawa ka ng trial balance, pansinin mo lang yung fee accounts mo. Kung kampante ka sa mga ginawa mong fee accounts, kung na, lahat ng mga nasa kaliwa, debit yan. Kung lahat naman, fee accounts, nasa kanan yung balance, 
credit yan. So, kagaya nito, sa lowest expense, 8,000, dapat makikita ko siya dito. The same with your utilities expense na 7,000, dapat 7,000 na under the debit column. And also with your rent expense, for 15,000, makikita ko dapat doon sa debit column. So, ganito lang natin ginagawa yung trial balance. Ah, sir, for the trial balance, dapat ba makikita ko maghahalo ba yung assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses accounts? The answer is yes. Pero kasi etong trial balance is yung tinatawag natin na unadjusted trial balance. Wala pa tayo doon sa adjusting entries. Wala pa tayong mga binago. So, meron din kasi tayong tinatawag na post-closing trial balance which is ang makikita lang natin doon ay mga permanent accounts yung assets, liabilities, and equity accounts. Pero ito, dahil balance pa lang ito ng unadjusted na items mo, yung umpisa pa lang, makikita mo pa yung iyong income and expenses accounts. So, kaya ganito siya lumalabas. O now, wala na ba tayong ibang transactions? Hanggang letter G lang naman tayo. So, kung wala na, total natin siya. At pag tinotal natin ito, makikita ninyo o ang total debit ko 80 plus 10 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 15 check nyo ha will this be equal to 125,000 the answer is uh, yes check din naman natin yung total credits 5 plus 100 plus 20 the answer is 125,000 so makikita mo balance ba yung total debit and total credit The answer is yes. Okay? Sir, question. Masasabi ko ba na tama yung ginawa kong trial balance? If I have 125,000, also equal with the 125,000 in credit side. The answer is, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, no. It only tests the equality. Not necessarily tama yung mga balance mo. Kasi, o, oh, sige, balikan natin yung tabular analysis. Nung tinotal natin yung total assets mo, you have 95,000. Okay, o, oh, rinadject ko sa screen. Ang total liabilities and equity mo, 95,000. Pero pagdating doon sa tri trial balance mo, 125 yung total debits, 125 yung total credits. So, not necessarily na, yun din yung makikita mo na total assets and liabilities plus equity. The answer behind that will come from your income and expenses account. Remember, dito sa tabular analysis, ninetto kasi natin itong transactions na related sa income and expenses, papasok ng capital account. Pero dito sa trial balance, magkakahiwala yun. Kasi although eventually mapupunta yan sa capital account mo, pero dahil hindi pa naman tapos yung accounting cycle, existing pa itong mga tinatawag natin na nominal accounts. Kaya, dahil yung sales mo, credit yung normal balance, nagka-amount ka doon, pero yung expenses mo nasa debit side. So, sumasama sila doon sa total. So, the answer is no. Okay? So, I hope this simple illustration can give you an understanding of your recording phase, classifying phase, and yung start ng summarizing part. Or yung journalizing posting and preparation of your trial balance. Now, if you have any questions, please tell me or you can comment down below para masagot ko kayo and mas maintindihan natin kung saan kayo nalilito or kung saan kayo nagugulahan. So, hanggang sa muli, magkakaroon tayo ng additional information related dito sa ating mga recording, classifying, uh, summarizing phases ng accounting cycle. So I'll see you around. Until then, bye-bye.